WWE ticket sales. Yeah, they're bad. Um, What's going so, on here? There's nothing going on. People aren't buying tickets. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, it's a message. It's a message. Like, that's the, the deal. I don't want to hear any excuses because they're behind AEW in ticket sales now, you know, as, as far as a per show thing. Um, they, they, they have a very good first week. Houston came out, came Houston for the 16th with Edge in the first night back, came out very strong. Um, the Fort Worth pay-per-view is almost sold out. Um, so they're going to have 10,000 people in there, so that's good. And Dallas... I thought was weak but now i don't think it's weak anymore compared to everything else uh, most of the shows really the only good the only good one is there's a, a raw in chicago at the all-state arena that's you know probably about six thousand sixty sixty three hundred sold which would be well below what i would expect but i would certainly not call it bad this far in advance it's okay most of the rest of the stuff is not okay. Um, San Antonio is okay. I think there's a Pittsburgh that's okay, but there's some. There's a lot under two thousand. Um, a lot of shows, um, and that's, um, you know, that's what it is. When it when it comes to the head to heads with AEW, um, you know, they're both running the Dallas market, and WWE's definitely ahead, big in that one, um, but. They're also in the American Airlines Center, and, you know, AEW's in, like, this building in Garland. So they should be way ahead, and they are. Uh, Jacksonville, it's really not fair, you know, because it's AEW's home market, and it's so burned out. And WWE has not sold many tickets for the Jacksonville show. But, you know, I mean, AEW, for a lot of these TV tapings, doesn't sell a lot of tickets either. So, I mean, it's going to be it's it's going to be way, way, way below, you know, what they got for the pay-per-view. But it's probably better than AEW has gotten for a lot of the Wednesday shows. But again, they're in; they're not doing social distancing, and they're not limiting ticket sales and things like that. So, um, but Miami, AEW's ahead, and Charlotte, um, AEW's ahead, um, and that is a, Charlotte's a big surprise because in those Carolina markets, um, WWE is way ahead in interest in those Carolina markets and all the traditional wrestling markets like AEW stronger and kind of like the What I would call not traditional wrestling market, which is funny you would think would be the opposite, but it's not But they are ahead in you know, they both put tickets on sale for Charlotte AEW's in the B building in town the Bojangles um, WWE's in the you know, the big building the end um, but AEW is ahead in ticket sales and in Miami Neither side is doing good, but WWE ticket sales are not good at all. AEWs are okay. So, um, you know, it's, hey, look, that's the barometer of if you're, you know, if, if you're really hot or cold, and they're cold, you know. I mean, the first week didn't look it. The first week looked okay, but... Um, after the, you know, the, I think there's a novelty of the first week. And that the one thing also is, which makes it even worse from a WWE standpoint, is WWE has done a much better job of promoting these house shows. They've had guys talk, they can't wait to do the house shows. AEW just, you know, flash some graphics and, hey, we got a house show, you know, and this is where we're going on sale and just kind of tell you. And WWE has been pushing it. They've had the videos and everything. And after the first week, man, they, you know, after the first week, they are not selling tickets well, and some of them are, are are scary bad. I mean, there's there's some really, you know, and most places, you know, when the big buildings, they're only opening up a fraction of the building, and they're still got thousands of tickets left. You know, in some places, 25% of the building, and still, um, you know, half the seat's not gone, and stuff like that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, with AEW, a lot of these buildings are going to be, that they're running are, you know, like in the 5,000 seat range, and they're, you know, there's um, the, the Charlotte Bojangles is a lot bigger, um, and they're, you know, they're they're at three thousand in, in Charlotte. AEW is um, in the smaller building. WWE's at probably two thousand in the much bigger building. But you know, it's like you're, you're in these NBA arenas with in a lot of them with two thousand, and in some cases fifteen hundred, and in one case a thousand or seven hundred tickets sold at this point. It's bad. Um, granted, there is time, 
But as a general rule, you kind of know how tickets are going day one because the people who want tickets, not everyone buys first day, but the majority do. Um, I mean, we'll see, you know, how it comes. But but this is, you know, I know like in uh, Louisville, I heard, you know, when the tickets, you know, at, at like it's 10 a.m., the tickets went on sale, there were three people in line for tickets. Um, you know what I mean? It's like I remember when there would be thousands and thousands of people on the internet you know do you know i mean i mean like pwg would be hundreds and hundreds the first five minutes and this there were three in louisville kentucky at the freaking um yum kfc yum building or whatever um it's it's crazy um it's a message and like i said today i mean i have talked to vince mcmahon for years and you know he's got you know it's the same saying you know it's it's the same saying different you know different guys will say it differently but at the end of the day it's like if you you know if you have a product that people want to see they're going to buy tickets to it and if your problem people don't want to see they're not going to and it's a very simple thing and you know you can make a lot of excuses and for the whole last year we didn't know because tv ratings are different people people watch tv because they watch tv they're creatures of habit it's just what it is it's a different it's a different thing this tells you if people are actually like interested in your product as opposed to just putting on the tv and um after a year plus off you know it was like and you can't use the excuse that we're in a pandemic because UFC did a $4.2 million gate tonight, and UFC has sold out every single show. And AEW, in the same business that they are in, is, um, I mean, their, their AEW is not doing great, but they're doing okay. Um, I thought WWE was doing okay. They are not. They're, you know. Well, the real, the real fair comparisons are going to be WWE and AEW pay-per-views versus UFC. Your average house show, your... TV tapings, I mean... Well, they, I mean, they, they do... Couch shows, TV taping. Um, the TV tape, the TV tapings are doing, are doing generally weak. Um, the pay-per-view, the one pay-per-view is uh, the Fort Worth, which is doing well. The, hell, the um, Money in the Bank is doing well. It's not sold out, but it will sell out. It'll, it'll do, it'll do 10,000 people. Um, AEW, next pay-per-view will be Chicago... Um, Labor Day, which I would, I mean, I would think they're going to sell out. They, you know, the the every time they've run Chicago uh, for a pay per view, they've sold out instantly. So I would presume that they will sell out instantly again. Um, but you know, these raw, you know, I mean, look before the pandemic, the last quarter before the pandemic, so the first quarter of 2020, they averaged 6,300 people per show, and you know. They are well under half of of that. Well under half of that. So that's your. There's your number right there. Well under half of where they were. Um, I mean, you know, they'll, they'll get later ticket sales, so they'll probably be above half, but they ain't going to be close at all. You know, when it comes to uh, you know normal, t you know, they're not going to be close to where they where they were. Whereas AEW is essentially right where they were. They're they're selling tickets. All of these arenas are doing um, essentially what I would expect them. You know, almost right on prediction. I would say in almost every one. And you know, the first three nights WWE, like I said, Houston was a bat was a little. You know, Houston was fine, and then and Fort Worth was was very good, and Dallas was the one where it's like, man, Dallas. You know, you you know, you would expect ten thousand or more. And I uh, didn't get that. But like I said, 6,000 isn't a disaster. I mean, by any means. In most cities, it would be considered very good, but it's Dallas, which is, you know, Dallas and uh, Chicago are like, uh, you know, in New York are like their best markets. Detroit's usually good, and Detroit's doing terrible uh, for the WWE show. Um, you know, they're not in New York. They have no dates in New York yet. I'm sure New York will do will do very well, but... Um, yeah, overall, Kansas City's horrendous. Um, it's uh, it's bad, um, and it's you know which which is interesting because, like I said, whenever whenever Vince used to react to this stuff, and granted, it's not like like they they're on easy street, you know what I mean, in the sense of their money's all guaranteed, whether people buy tickets or not. But it is a sign, 
it's a big sign and whether they will react to it um um you know you know like i said it 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 the, whether they react to it or not time will tell but the old ww would have reacted to a day like this um big because he would have just gone it's not clicking we better make it click um <laughs> so, how's he gonna do that uh, that's a great man. theory and all but i mean well you can't what's the guy it, gonna do make some yeah, stars you, yeah, make stars. Make that's some compelling need. programming. Well, I mean, that's stars. easier said than done. I, I I just watched SmackDown, and uh, there was nothing wrong with the show, but it's like oh, the yeah, same show that I watch every single solitary week. Oh yeah, there and was. Same with Raw. You see that final segment? Well, I mean, that final segment. That final segment. That what's what, okay? I mean, they are working at making one star, and that's Roman Reigns. Yeah, um, an unbeatable heel. Yeah, but the idea is, is for him to end up being a babyface. Yeah, but well, like, that could be a year down the road. I mean, yeah. what are you going to do in the meantime? Who's your top babyface? You ain't, you haven't got one. You haven't got one. It's and just one mid-card babyface after another that falls to the guy. But, I mean, that last segment, it's like, again, like the stupidest booking, because it, it never works, is when you have a babyface start a fight and then get his ass kicked. So you had a babyface with a kendo stick, start the fight, Still gets his ass kicked. Then there's a second guy comes in. He gets his ass kicked. And then you go back, and it's the and it's the father trying to get revenge, and he gets his ass kicked again. And then they go off the air. It's like I watch that, and it's just like, okay, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to build Roman Reigns. But you know, AEW is also trying to build Kenny Omega, and they did the angle with Jungle Boy, and Jungle Boy is a small guy, and nobody thinks that Jungle Boy is going to win the championship, whether he will or he won't. I don't know. Um, and everyone knows Rey Mysterio is not winning the championship, nor should he. Um, but you still have this angle and storyline you're trying to get a match over. And at least, you know, like with AEW, Jungle Boy didn't start the fight and get his ass kicked. And didn't have a friend there also getting his ass kicked where in, in you know, by the heel. And Kenny Omega, that's the same thing. In time, Kenny Omega is going to, you know, he's doing this heel run to come back, turn, and be a big baby face. Whenever that will be in a year or whenever. You know, whenever that's two years, whatever, 18 months. And I mean, with Kenny hurt, hurting, you know, I don't know. I don't know when that will be. But essentially, you've got, you know, Roman Reigns and Kenny Omega are essentially the same character in the sense that they are heels who are being groomed to be the top babyface star down the line of the promotion. And, you know, AW at least is trying to book in a way to make the matches exciting. And WWE is just trying to book Roman Reigns and just tell you that ah, doesn't matter. He's going to kill the guy. And there you go. I mean, that, that's, that's the big difference right there. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.